Hello, Trent Jesse here. In this video tutorial, I'll be lead, uh, teaching you how to sign up with your Google Analytics account and then how to implement that on your website using WordPress. So, having a Google Analytics account gives you the ability to track all kinds of people come to your website, where they're coming from, uh, where they go throughout your website, and all kinds of other data that's really important to understand to help you make better decisions uh, using your online business or use, using your website for whatever purposes you're using it for. But the uh, Google Analytics account is free to sign up with, and it's easy to set up, and so we're going to start off with that. And then the second is we're going to show you how to take the code that they give you and implement it onto your website. So the very first step is you come over here to Google google.com forward slash analytics, and you simply click on the button that says create an account. After that, It'll, have to, it'll either ask you to sign in or else create an account. If you have a Gmail account already, then you can just sign in. If not, then you'll have to create a Gmail account. But uh, since I have a, a Gmail account already, then I'm simply going to log in. And once I log in, then it'll give me the option of signing up. All right, and then it's simply going to ask you what you, what you want to track. You can just scroll down and keep it marked as is, as Universal Analytics. All right, just keep that marked. And when you come down here to where it says setting up your web property, the website name, I'm going to put in you know, one of my sites here, Salt Lake City. And that's actually the URL of the site, so I'm just going to copy that here real quick. and make sure there's not a duplicate HTTP. You only need just that prefix right here and then your domain name. And then down here below, it's not absolutely necessary that you mark these, but I'm just going to mark one right here real quick. And I'm in Mountain Time. And the account name, I'm just going to use the same name that I used up here. And then you can just keep all these marked right here. If you want to have an account specialist, you know, give you advice and so forth in the future. I just end up unchecking that and the yeah, anonymously with Google and others in, in terms of sharing data. Um, it's up to you as a personal preference and then with uh, Google uh, products only. So I just end up unchecking those. You don't really need them. And that's it with that page. So when you're done, you click on Get Tracking ID. It'll pop up this box where you can read the terms and conditions. Okay, go through them, fast reader, <laughs> then click on I accept. Once you're done, then you'll be taken straight over to your account with uh, Google Analytics where it gives you this uh, code. Okay, so this code right here, website tracking code, says here that this is your tracking code. You copy and paste it into the code of every page you want to track. So if you're using WordPress, it's pretty simple to use because the header of your now, website loads on every page, and so I'll show you how to do it manually first. So you simply highlight the code, you copy it like I did. So I just left click and highlighted the whole thing and copied it. Now I'm going to go into my WordPress account, and you'll notice that I've already logged in, and on the left hand side underneath appearance is this editor section. So you click on editor, once you do that, then you come over here on the right hand side and look for the template that's labeled header. Now this header file allows you to edit the code for the header of your website. And the header of your website, as I mentioned earlier, loads on every single page. And so that's why when you put the code inside of your header file, um, it loads on all throughout your site. And you don't have to put it in multiple spots like you do with uh, um, other um, types of sites. So this is the header, and it says right here inside of Google Analytics that you need to uh, put it before the, right down here, this PHP in implementation, um, you put it right before the body tag, okay? So the body tag um, is right here. It starts with a, uh, a less sign and ends with a greater sign. And down at the very end, 
So I mean, we're just going to put it right before. Actually, it's a little bit better just to put it right before the end of the head tag right here. So we're just going to create a little space for it and then paste it right there. So this code right there is your Google Analytics code. And once you paste it in there, you simply scroll down and click on the Update File button. And that's going to save that code inside of the header file. And that's all you need to do. Okay, that's it. all you have to do from there. And just give it about 24 hours after you put that code in, and then Google Analytics will start to track it. But we're going to come back over here to Google Analytics. And since we've already copied this code and pasted it into our site, um, we're, we're done. So from there, when you go to google.com forward slash analytics and log into your website, you're going to be brought straight over to your reporting page. And you can kind of browse around through your website, uh, through your uh, analytics account, and see all the different buns and the tools over here. In fact, Google Analytics, uh, they have all kinds of educational material on their website that you can uh, walk through, and they'll uh, teach you how to use every single aspect of your entire account all for free. So, And it's in their best interest to do that, obviously. So when you log into your Google Analytics account, you'll be able to observe the uh, overview dashboard of just how much traffic you're getting. Just at a glance, you can look by hourly or day or week and monthly. And just to reiterate, give it 24 hours before you log in, and then you'll start to see data here after you put the code into your website. And then you'll start to learn about how many times those people have visited and how many pages those people have visited along with the uh, average duration that they've been spending on your site and what percentage of those people coming to your website are brand new and how many um, unique visitors are coming to your site. So as you'll notice, if you move your mouse over each section, it'll give you an explanation of what that metric is and what that uh, information is all about. All right, so that's uh, pretty much where I'm going to stop there for this particular explanation with the Google Analytics because you can get a lot more in-depth information. Just know that with uh, Google Analytics it's very in-depth and it tracks all kinds of stuff. And so as you start to jump into it you'll start to learn more about this and uh, how to uh, read it and understand it and how, to, how it'll help you understand what uh, business decisions to make if you're running an online business. Um, one of the major principles to keep in mind with your analytics is you, you want to track as much as possible so you're not left in the dark not knowing what's going on with your website and that's what Google Analytics does is it gives you that intelligence, it gives you that knowledge um, to know uh, what kind of things to change such as what kind of website, uh, what kind of pages on your website people view the most what kind of links they're clicking on what kind of keyword phrases in fact people use to find you and all kinds of other stuff. So, all right, so let's come back here to a uh, theme that I'm using here on another site where you can implement your tracking code without having to put that code inside of your header file. So, if you're using Woo themes, which I am, in this particular um, circumstance, I'm using the Hustle Premium theme from Woo themes. And so, when you log in using this particular theme, under the theme options, there's going to be this quick start section. And if you scroll down, there's going to be this tracking code box where you can paste that code right here. And it simply says there, you know, paste your Google Analytics code or other tracking code here, and it's going to be added automatically to your site. So when I paste that there, you click on Save All Changes, and then you're done. I'm not going to paste it in this particular theme because it was meant for that other site. But So now that we've gone over Google Analytics and how to implement that into your site, get started with signing up with google.com forward slash analytics and implement it and get started with tracking your traffic.